Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Here is a piece of water oak that's been leaned against the fence over here. For the past three out of four days, we've had heavy rains. So let's tear into this thing and see if there's enough dry material to make a bow drill set. Anything to do with water oak usually turns out to be some of the greatest materials. If you burn it down for ash, I think these ashes are hotter for fire roll than other ashes. If you get in there and get the dry wood out for bow drill, usually a water oak bow drill is great. Um, this punk wood is almost self-igniting. When you find something that's gone punky, it has those long stringy fibers to it. And for some reason, once you ignite that stuff, if you just leave it and let the breeze blow on it, it'll go to flame just about on its own and you almost can't blow the flames out. Under a water oak is where I found that bracket fungus and I made those three videos about it. It just seems like everything to do with water oak is very flammable. So let's go ahead and skin this piece here and just see what we have to work with. Of course, this is too punky to use, but we still have some good wood right here. Let's go ahead and make a bow drill set out of this piece here. I will go ahead and cut some more of this crotch off. See how it splits before we start batoning it. All right, I went ahead and split it all up. It's pretty gnarled and twisted, and then places of it is still very punky. I wasn't expecting that much moisture in the middle of that uh, piece of limb. But um, let's go ahead and use this piece here. I never like a spindle any smaller than a half inch or any bigger than three quarters. So we might be able to get a half inch spindle out of this. Let me put you on time lapse. Looks a little bit rough, doesn't it? <laughs> and I'll have a pointy hot end this time. And this end here was really hard, so of course it had to be for the bearing block end. This was really soft. So that's how I chose which end. And the fireboard. Looks like it's going to be wide enough. 16 mile an hour winds. That's not unusual around here, is it? And it does still feel like it has moisture in it. So I think for sure we'll be doing drying cycles. Got pine needles here for the tinder bundle. Got some of these damp shavings from making the set in the bottom of the hobo stove. Particles down on top of the ember. Let's 
go for the burning now. Water oak, fatwood bearing bark, pine needles for a tinder bundle. Oh, drying cycles. Drying cycles are when you have a wet spindle and fireboard and you want to drive off that moisture. So you do a burn in and you'll let that steam escape. Do a burn in, let that steam escape. When you finally start making some dark dust, then you know it's dry enough to go for the ember. But until then, you might have to do 10 drying cycles. I've been in the middle of doing drying cycles and end up getting an ember. But it's a very simple technique, and uh, we're definitely going to have to use it on this damp set right here. Let's go ahead and get the burn in. Usually, though, I don't have to do more than three drying cycles on the burn in and three drying cycles uh, after I cut the knots and we're going for the ember. So I don't expect this to be any more than that either. This is drifting towards the front too much. So let me try to stop that. Cut that back side dry to get it to drift over to that side. It helped this side be a little bit higher than what it is. I'm going to try to get this, instead of drifting this way, try to get it to set, drift more back that way. Got a little bit of a burn in on there. We've already got dark dust, so maybe this part of this set is not all that wet. Good. Let's do another burn in though, just in case. dark divot and the end of our spindle is dark so we're good to cut our notch all right let's see what it'll do in this windy windy damp situation
my spindle is bottoming out so I'm gonna cut this shoulder off of here and this wind you know you know it's going to need air it's going to need oxygen to ignite but if the wind is blowing on it so hard that it's keeping it cooled off that's not going to work i'm going to have to change positions to try to block the wind but that's going to cast a shadow over it so let's give it a try And I will take some of these shoulders off too. Now let's try that. Pretty good, didn't it? I will use the wind to our advantage. satisfying when you can make a damp set produce because of drying cycles in 16 mile an hour wind. That is very satisfying. Alright y'all before you leave my channel please subscribe, hit the notification bell and in that drop down list select all and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.